once you get over those sale guides, you can't see them anymore. So now I'll just use those cans as my marker to take my lid down. And I should be right over the mark right here. So if you guys are paying attention, you should start seeing those sale guides come into view right now. So I'm just waiting, It's the beam's crooked, I'm gonna catch that aft in first on my left hand side. Gotta go a little offshore there. Okay, I caught that. No, I missed it. So I'm just gonna let it float back over nice and easy. And right here I'm gonna catch it. Right, maybe not, right there. Okay, we got it. We got both of them. So we got lucky there. I wasn't watching the right side. I was watching my left side. But I knew I was close on the right okay, side because right. uh, the beam wasn't uh, crooked or anything. So I knew I was pretty much straight. So again, landed gently. And I know that doesn't sound gently, but that's a 40, it's a 40,000 pound lid right there. So take off of that. We're going to go back and get the next one now. This is going to be our last lid. And then we're going to start loading some reefers. Again, I'm pulling back with this one just because the crane, the beam was way behind me. So I was making the cab catch up to it. So we didn't have a lot of swing. So again, when you look at it right here, you can see it is swinging at least a foot. Now, sometimes if I was a regular here, like right now, see this right here, I might try and, no, it's not gonna swing far enough. So I'm gonna watch it right here and I'm just gonna walk it over, just like I did last time, because otherwise, it's just gonna take me too long to try and grab this. If I was at my regular dock, I know what those cranes will do. I know how to make it bounce to land. So it's just a matter of figuring this crane out. There's a lot of swing on this thing. So once it gets over here, I'm gonna set it down. And pick it up again, set it down again. And I almost landed the damn thing right there, but I was just trying to slow it down. Okay, maybe we can get it right here. Almost. Just picking it up gently. See, I'm getting one side, this beam is kind of a little short. So if I could just get it to pick up a little bit and stretch out, I should be able to grab it. A little more, right there. No, oh, see it's, the beam is shrinking a little lower than a 20. So I gotta get it to stretch out right there. And that should be it right there. Miss the forward end now, oh, damn it. And this is kind of the, these are the kind of things that make new drivers a little nervous because you're like, oh shit, everybody's looking at me and I can't let out the lid and they're talking shit. Believe me, man, it's not easy for any of us drivers. This is not something that's just super easy all the time, especially in wind and when it's a new crane you've never been in before. Just keeps missing that aft in, man, like it's just... So again, I'm just waiting. Just be patient, guys. This is just how it goes, man, when you when you can't get it. We do have to put this lid up there eventually. So you got to work on it until you get it. But just take your time. Breathe. If you feel like you can't grab it and you're just getting frustrated, just stop for a minute and take a break. And if the boss says everything okay, just say, hey, I'm just taking a minute to let the crane settle, and then I'll get it up there. And your, your, your boss is going to know you're having issues, and he'll let it go, man. So now I'm just going to walk back to my mark. I'm looking at my mark again. I 
already know where my cell guides are on the can, so now I'm just looking at my looking at my marks, and it's the first stack of cans here, the first one that busts up, so I know to stop right there on my left hand side is what I'm looking at. The crack of those two cans right there is right where my stanchion is that I need to hit. So I'm coming down on it right now. Looking good. It's floating a little bit. I'm gonna let it float back to the left and then just try and grab it right here. Okay, so I got the forward end. Back end's touching the cell guide, the stanchion piece a little bit. So I'm just gonna pick it up, pop it back down. There we go, right there. Now you can see a, a little bit of lashing kind of laid down. That's why I go slow to make sure I'm not grabbing any of that gear. Once I'm past the gear, I'm good. Doesn't mean lower down super fast because you're almost down anyways and you want to land them gently. There we go. Alright ladies, what's up ladies? Ryan, hey uh, so this time we got reapers and empties all fired, you know, buddy. That's a 10-4. Okay, so we got cans coming up now. They're reapers, they gotta go in a certain spot, so my boss is gonna tell me where they all are. Now remember guys, we are taking these reapers off a chassis right now, not a bomb cart, which means we need to float the load. And what that means is you're gonna pick up real gently, you're gonna pay attention to your signal man, you'll start to see that, you'll start to lift up slowly, and then once he sees you're clear, he's gonna tell that truck to start moving forward. And then he'll signal a little wave, a little circle of his hand to let you know you're clear and you can start hauling it up. You want to go slow in the beginning because you might have the can locked to the chassis and you do not want to pick the driver up. All right, so I'm down nice and gentle, flippers up. Remember that. Soon as you pick it up, flippers up, or when you land it, flippers up. I can't tell you how many people forget to do that and then they'll shear these things off. All right. Have this person right here, four and short. 10-4, four and short. So this is a super heavy can, I can tell you that. It's probably filled with some kind of edibles. One, two, three, four. That spot number 11 is my four and short right there. And what my boss is gonna do is make sure these are locked down and landed correctly so that I can butt up the other cans to it. You can see we got a little helicopter going here, so I'll probably just land that forward in. It's just helicopter and really bad, so. Just settle it down right there. Now I'm gonna pick it up slowly. And now I need to walk a little bit to my left. So I'm off to the right, just a little bit. So just a little walk over should be more than enough. Right there, that might